Welcome in beautiful travelers. I'm Marie at Indigo Earth. I'm here to do a reading for Earth Signs Taurus. Welcome in Turinians. Good to have you here. Taurus, you are ruled by the planet Venus, which is the planet of beauty, of love, and of pleasure. Your dual nature is to be practical and dependable, yet you can be very materialistic and security orientated. Your drive is for luxury. Your aspect is to accumulate possessions. Your mantra is I have. So welcome in to you. Glad to have you here. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship energetically or physically with a Tor Torian, Torinian, Torian, Taurus. Um, you are here to see what's going on with your person. So some of this message could be for you as well. Feel free to swap around the characters as need be. Nobody knows your connection or your relationship better than you. And time is fluid, so anytime you come across this message and you were drawn into it, that was a time that you were meant to see it or hear it. Uh, stay open to that process. And our energies are working together at a quantum level to bring you a message for the highest atonement, highest vibration of your soul growth, your soul evolution for yourself, as well as all living deities on this planet. So good to have you here. Know that sometimes the messages can be warm and fuzzy. Sometimes the messages can be a little bit abrasive and abrupt and direct. But this is all about pointing you in the direction for your highest growth, your highest soul growth. So take what resonates, use your discernment, use your inner knowing, use your intuition. This is where you're starting to learn how to exercise your intuition about what fits and what doesn't fit. Take what fits, leave the rest behind. And if you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe, help the channel grow. Appreciate your support so that other Taurians can get the messages that might be needed for them as well. So let's see where we go with you today. So we have the star. And we have the Queen of Swords. So we um, got Aquarius coming in right off the bat here. And Gemini coming in right across the bat. So air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius showing up. Um, this is about coherence with yourself. This is about healing. Um, Queen of Swords is all about truth, straight to the core of it. Taking experiences, taking... Uh, Lifetime experiences, lifetime achievements, lifetime situations, and using that as a platform to make informed decisions. Cutting to the heart of the matter. And the star is all about healing, guidance, working with your oversoul, working with your higher power. Coming into coherence with yourself. So let's see where we go with you today, Taurus. Let's see what's up with Taurus. This message is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for those watching, please. Messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. One more time. Messages for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. All right, here we go, my friends. Your overall energy. Uh oh, Three of Swords. Mm. Sometimes this is about natural endings of things, um, but this is definitely about hurting, some sort of pain. Something felt from the heart is just cutting. Your situation, the magician. So um, this is air energy showing up again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the magician is all about could be about manipulation, but it's also about what you're manifesting. What resources and tools you are using to manifest in your life. Um, your opportunity, Two of Pentacles. 
It's about making a decision, making an informed decision, because the Queen of Swords too can be about asking questions, right? Asking good questions. That has to do with maybe even asking yourself some questions. But the Two of Pentacles, this is an opportunity for you to um, choose because you've got free will. What the universe is what the universe is working on with you is resistance. Energies that surround you that you might not be aware of is lack mentality, feeling alone, feeling um, by yourself, feeling abandoned. Energies that are coming in in the future. Four of Wands, well now that's duality in itself, right? You got um, feeling left out, not knowing what to do, and energies that are coming in are a commitment to something stable, something sturdy, something dependable. Energies that are fading away, the Knight of Wands, optimism, hope, aspiration. It's also very fast-moving energy. How you're showing up in this situation, temperance, again, this is about self-cohesion, self-coherence. This is about working with your oversoul, your overtone, working with your guides, working with um, consciousness, working with universal knowledge. This is also about fusion, balancing. Balancing the emotions with your expression of self, your true expression of self. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with? Judgment. There's your wake up call, my friend. There's your wake up call. Judgment is about reconsideration. It's about seeing clearly now. It is about um, coming into your own, coming into yourself. It's like the fog is being cleared away, being able to see clearly. It's freedom, it's expansion, it's reconsideration, it's restructuring. Your hopes and fears, Five of Swords. Um, this is about competition. Competition, um, having to win at something, having to be the best, having to like prove yourself. And your outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter energy, this is about expansion and luck. With the Knight of Swords, so truth is coming in again. You got two cards of truth here. Truth is coming in again. This is a message, idea. Wheel of Fortune 2 means that there's a change, right? There's a 180 coming here. Something's turned. So we start the reading with the heartbreak. There's a decision to be made here. It's time to look at what you're manifesting. Could be driven by, by feeling a lack of something out of fear. It also could be stubbornness. There's an opportunity here for you to really awaken to you, to your authentic self, coherence with yourself. So you could go back into patterns and cycles or you can make a change. And the change comes with, again, you got the Knight of Swords. That is a message of truth. That is a message of information, learning information. So let's see where we go. Let's figure out what this magician is. Clarify the magician for Taurus, please. Clarify the magician for Taurus. I saw the chariot come through. That is about self-determination and will. This is your situation, understanding how things are manifesting in your life. Seeing the bigger picture. Understanding your resources. We got justice. So this is about cause and effect. Again, this is about looking at what is manifesting in your life and understanding that um, this comes from you. This comes from within, deep within the subconscious. You got justice coming in, so that's about cause and effect. That is about, um, that's also a twin flame energy as well. 
karmic lessons, karma, having to do with karma, both good and bad, or what we classify as bad. Every, really, it's just about experiences and lessons. It's about growth, evolution. Give me two more on this, please. We got the hermit, the seeker, going within. And we got the lovers. There's air energy coming on again. That's specific to Gemini. So, this has to do with relationship. Definitely has to do with relationship. Some kind of heartbreak in a relationship. There is a decision to be made here. The situation is looking at what's manifesting in your life. You could be holding something inside, Hermit. This is about being a seeker, holding something inside about a relationship. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it looks like there's some kind of, some kind of karma. Some kind of karma that's being played out. That's asking you to go inside. Really seek that the seeker, the inner knower, right? Or you could be holding something inside. So let's find out what the Two of Pentacles is. This is about a choice. This lies over the Three of Swords. Clarify the Two of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. Got the Ten of Cups. We got the Four of Pentacles. So holding on to something out of fear. Unwilling to let go. Something with something that has to do with bliss. Or what you thought was your bliss. Happiness. Joy. Give me one more on this, please, for Taurus. One more time through. Eight of Wands, communication. So this choice, this choice that you're making has something to do with heartbreak. Something that um, have brought you joy, peace, happiness, fulfillment. Um, you're hanging on to something. You're hanging on to something, something deep within, because you got the hermit here. And it has to do with the relationship, and it has to do with some sort of lesson. Some sort of lesson that was supposed to be learned. Um, communication is coming in, whether that's from you, or, or that's from the universe, or that's just signs coming in around you, or synchronicities, or things showing up in your life that are bringing you back to yourself, that are kind of bringing you back to like, having to revisit something that you're holding inside in your subconscious because the universe responds to what's going on inside it doesn't respond to what you're doing how you're presenting yourself on the outside the masks that we wear it, it presents it listens to the inner subconscious the deep seated rooted feelings so you might be getting some kind of communication from the universe because you got the magician here too so things are coming in. Could be through dreams, could be through telepathy, could be through um, signs and synchronicities, could just be a, a deep inner knowing. But let's see what this Four of Cups here is doing here because that's what the universe is helping you with or giving back to you. But this has to do with um, resistance, being stubborn, refusal, just not participating anymore. Don't care. All done. Had enough. <laughs> we got the Ten of Wands, carrying a burden. Definitely troublesome and bothersome.
And we got the Page of Wands. Still holding on to some hope, though. Holding back or or not participating is 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 carrying the Ten of Wands. It's it's a burden. It's burdensome. It's hard. It's troublesome. It's tiring. It's exhausting. And the Page of Wands is still having a little bit of hope and inspiration, even though you're carrying this, carrying this load. I just want two more. No, I just want one more. You got the King of Cups. So there's, there's love here. There's love, there's passion. Um... There's a lot of feelings and emotions here. I had that in my reading this morning. King of Cups is an old soul. It's an old soul. Someone who's been, been here many, 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 many times. Many times. Holds a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. But there's something that you're holding on to inside that has been very tiring, right? Ten of Wands. It's been a long haul, a long journey. But you're still holding some hope and some inspiration. You're still hoping for creative beginnings. Because there's a lot of passion in here. This could be many lifetimes together as well. So let's see what this Four of Wands is. This is the energy coming in. This is stability. This is a constant. This is about celebration. This is about a commitment. Clarify what this Four of Wands is for Taurus, please. Ace of Pentacles, wanting a new beginning. Six of Wands, wanting to overcome something. And the Page of Swords. So there's an idea in your head. There's an idea in your head. There's there's some sort of message that want, wants to be delivered, right? Eight of Wands. There's some sort of message that wants to be delivered that you're holding on the inside. You have a choice. The universe is like you have a choice, right? You're kind of going back and forth with it. Not sure what to do. You're holding on to something. This is You've been carrying this for a while. You're seeking, you're, you're definitely seeking. You're on the inside seeking. Maybe starting to look at that what's showing up in your life and taking accountability for it because justice is also about, this is in your situation, doing what's right, doing the right thing. So you could be going inside seeking answers. But you've got an idea or you've got a thought. Now the page is, is just about the support part. It's not, um, the knight is the messenger. But you have the knight of swords in your outcome. So right now this thought is getting ready to manifest. You could be seeking higher counsel in this, higher guidance. So let's get some more on this for you. Let's understand temperance here. Clarify temperance for Taurus, please. Temperance. Coherence with self. Blending your emotions with your actions. Harmonizing, uniting, bringing together. You got the nine of swords. You got monkey mind going on. <laughs> Heartbreak again. Seven of cups. You're confused on what to do. This is going to bring in a tower. This is going to bring in a tower. This, this, whatever this is, 
um, whatever this heartbreak is, it's been here. You got the nine of swords. This is fear. This is apprehension. This is the monkey mind going over and over and over and over again. Um, the seven of cups is about confusion, not knowing what to do. Could be, you know, you may be, your, your projections about this situation might not be accurate. You might not be seeing clearly. Um, this is manifesting in a tower. It's manifesting in a tower. So this shit can be cleared away. Because judgment is right in front of you. This is looking at the Akashic, this is kind of a life review, looking at the Akashic records, your Akashic records of many, 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 many lifetimes, because you got the King of Cups here. This is an old soul. This is an old soul who, you're at a crossroads of conquering this lesson, of really understanding and getting to the root of this lesson, Queen of Swords, to the root, and healing it. But you also have free will. The universe will not infringe on your free will. There's a small bit of hope here. There's a small bit of hope and desire. It seems like the burdens are overtaking the desire. But this is going to create a tower moment. Because this is what you're manifesting. So let's see what temperance is. So in the extended, we've got, definitely got air energy coming in here strong. Magician, Justice is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You got one of each, two of each sign. You got one water sign showing up. So clarify judgment, please. We got the world ending and new beginning. This is to complete a cycle. This is about completing a karmic cycle. This is about getting the lesson because judgment, judgment comes up. The lesson will keep coming back around until you get it, until you really, really, really get it and you start doing something different. Because you got beginnings and endings, right? So the lesson's gonna come back around, could be in different form, same energy, could be in different people, same energy, until it is resolved. And, and you're being given an opportunity for that right now. Give me two more on that. So I'll look at air signs in the extended. I'll get a little bit more on your outcome. Looks like you're getting ready to go forth with the truth. You're gonna make a change, maybe a 180, or you could go back into similar patterns. It can go both ways. That's what that two of pentacles is. But the same manifestations will keep coming out. If it's repeated cycles and patterns. Somewhere the truth is trying to come through here. Some sort of truth that has to do with emotions and feelings. Give me two more on this, please, for judgment for Taurus. We got Virgo energy coming in, too. Earth sign. It's in the Hermit. Looks like this cycle is trying to trying to cycle out. Give me two more on this, please. Go one more time through. Wow, you got the Queen of Swords again. This is about cutting to the truth. Getting down to the raw material of it. And that's air energy showing up again. You got the Ace of Pentacles. This will bring a new beginning for you. Definitely will bring a new beginning for you. This is going through a new portal. And there you are, the Hierophant. Taurus energy. So we got Virgo and Taurus showing up here, and we got all the air signs showing up here. So I'll look at 
uh, earth energy in the extended as well as um, air energy. But this is about seeking higher counsel as well, right? This is about understanding, um, seeking people of knowledge, people, you know, luminaries, way showers, um, shamans, um, mystic healers, um, energy healers, quantum healers. Um, <clears throat> and the Hierophant also can be about structures, can also be about traditions, can also be about um, a paradigm, a belief system. But this to me with this, with the truth coming through here, you've got judgment coming up. This is about seeking higher higher counsel. It's about seeking higher counsel, get, gathering, um, gathering help to help push through this cycle. This is about a new beginning in truth, raw truth, because the Queen of Swords takes no, no bullshit, right? cuts through the heart of the matter straight to the truth about what is truth. So with that, I will look at earth signs. We've got Virgo showing up and we got Taurus showing up in here. We've got air signs are very loud. Um, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we will look at actions and advice for you. I'm going to go deeper into this outcome for you. I'm gonna look at energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. This is feelings of fear, abandonment, being lost. And then we will look at actions and advice for you in the extended. For those of you not going on, I'm going to get a message to you, guidance to you from your higher self. Guidance to you from your higher self. What does your soul say? There's a bunch that jumped out, but that one came out real clear. And the sacred flow of yes, and creator of earth. Very cool, earth sign, creator of earth. So let's see, what does your soul say? Here's the essential meaning. Tuning into your soul's song, learning to lead with your heart, success at the end of a long journey, your self-care messages, not listening to your inner voice, misinterpreting your soul's song. Your soul knows, it always does. Take some time to tune in and journal, meditate, listen and translate. You already know what you want, so go for it. If you desire a specific future for yourself, it's because it is 100% possible for you to achieve. Your desire is an indicator of what you can achieve when you set your heart and mind to it. It's time to go get that dangling carrot you've been dreaming about and to ask yourself, why are you hesitating? What's stopping you? This card indicates success at the end of a long, long journey. Take what everyone else wants out of the equation because this is all about what you want. Right now, you need to be a little bit more egocentric and greedy, more a tiny bit focused on your needs. It's okay, you can spend time focused on everyone else that may need to tune it out for a few hours. When you listen to the whispers of your soul, what does it say in your heart? And then the sacred flow of yes. The essential meanings, movement, ease, things falling into place, validation from the universe, the universe is looking after you, your self-care messages, trying to force something that isn't working, not noticing that all signs point the other way, seeing no as a problem instead of an opportunity, a need to up-level a skill in order to get what you want. Have you ever noticed how happy, optimistic people have all the luck and how the haves keep having and the have-nots keep encountering barriers. Like a, steam, like a stream of helpful energy, the sacred flow of yes 
is being where you're meant to be. When you are in the right wave, you're on it. You are so completely enveloped in your right vibe that it practically wishes everything you need right into your lap. It brings a whole lot of ease and flow. You may be forcing your way upstream right now and stubbornly pushing into a dam that's meant to guide you towards a more prosperous path. Since I know you're not a salmon, there's no need to be swimming into headwaters right now. Instead, flow around the gates of not yet by finding the path of least resistance. The sacred flow of yes is like a river. So remember that rocks are only put in your way as markers meant to nudge you towards your simplest solution not as challenges meant to be dominated or controlled. And then you have the Creator Earth, grounded and centered. Very fun. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helped, and until next time, I wish you the peace that passes all understanding. For those of you going on, the link is below, and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.